Welcome back, Sethling here. Today I've hooked up my connect unit to an avatar. So the avatar is this wolf. So you can see if I move to the left, then my avatar will also move to the left. If I move to the right, my avatar will also move to the right. Eventually, it might take a little bit. Yeah, there we go. Move to the right. Um, I can jump and my avatar will also jump. See, it jumps. Um, yeah, connect unit controlling an avatar. Pretty cool. Um, so this is the connect unit. It's got a bunch of the pressure plates on the fence posts. And this is the the unit that controls right. This is the unit that controls left. Um, and then the thing that actually controls the wolf is this sheep in a cart back here. This is an untamed wolf. So it wants to attack sheep. And so in order to do that, uh, sorry, in order to take advantage of that, I just have a sheet back here that it, it thinks it can see and it wants to attack. It can't reach it, but it will try. And so these buttons just move the sheep on this minecart and uh, it pushes the pressure plate out a little bit because the wolf actually doesn't like to move very much. So the pressure, sorry, pushes the piston out just, uh, just one block so that the wolf will remember that it's supposed to attack the sheep. For some reason it, it just takes a little bit of coaxing to get it to do that. But uh, sometimes it works pretty well. So you can kind of control a sh control wolf. I don't know, this, this isn't really that useful. I, I'm not sure you can actually make a game out of this, but it's definitely kind of a neat little interesting mechanic that's uh, that I've never seen before. And, and hooking it up to the connect makes it even better. So thanks for watching.